Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center, talking to you today about no evidence of progression in multiple sclerosis, or NEP. It is a joy to talk to you about this new outcome measure, no evidence of progression, or NEP. This was uh, born out of a clinical trial called the Oratorio trial, uh, where we studied uh, people with primary progressive MS, and we randomly gave them either ocrelizumab, ocrevus, or placebo. And what we found was that the people that received ocrevus had a, about a 50% higher chance of going for three months without getting worse at all. Now, they called that no evidence of progression, and it's specifically defined as follows. A three-month period of time during which the neurological examination doesn't change. And we assess the neurological examination using the EDSS, or Expanded Disability Status Scale. The EDSS, as you see here in this graph, is a scale that goes from zero, with no neurological disability, all the way to 10, which is death from multiple sclerosis. It's a non-linear scale, meaning the distance between each point isn't the same. It is derived from a neurological examination conducted by a neurologist, and we then transform the examination into a number for easy talkability. So, during the three-month assessment, people with MS had the same EDSS at the beginning of the three months as they did at the end. The second metric used in the definition of NEP, or no evidence of progression, was looking at the nine-hole PEG test. The nine-hole PEG test is a quantitative assessment of arm and hand function. It's part of a larger battery called the multiple sclerosis functional composite, routinely used in clinical trials and increasingly used in the clinic setting. And so, just like with the EDSS, over a three-month period, the speed of the nine-hole PEG test didn't slow down. The third metric used in the definition of NEP, or no evidence of progression, was the timed 25-foot walk. The timed 25-foot walk is a functional assessment of ambulation and leg function in multiple sclerosis. Just like with the nine-hole PEG test, it's also part of the larger battery called the multiple sclerosis functional composite. It is routinely used in all clinical trials and should be used with every patient and every clinic visit. And just like with EDSS in the nine-hole PEG test, the definition of NEP includes that you don't slow down your time over three months with the timed 25-foot walk. And so those are the components uh, that make up the definition of NEP. Several things are very special about this. Number one, we demonstrated that it's possible in PPMS to see stability for three-month periods. And we've coined a term to describe it. That in and of itself is really special. Secondly, we identified that a drug, ocrelizumab, was actually able to increase the likelihood of achieving no evidence of progression with primary progressive MS. Again, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center. Thank you very much for tuning in and learning about NEP, No Evidence of Progression.